um, important because um, there's no point in spending money to not bring long-term benefit. That's what sustainability is all about. And if a project that's about sustainability doesn't have a legacy, then there was no point in doing it in the first place. So um, we're really clear that what we're going to do in the future is mainstream a lot of the activity that we've been doing as a one-off specialist theme in the past 12 months, and it will become just part of the way we do things at Visit Scotland. Fabulous. Now, Richard, you're back in Stirling again. That's right, yes. So what do you think about that? Oh, it's great to be back. Yeah, I was here. I studied here for nine months, did a postgrad course in publishing at the university in the early 90s. And uh, I've been actually back in Scotland uh, several times over the last over this summer, actually. And I went travelling up to the Outer Hebrides uh, in June, took the train up to Inverness and then the bus over to Ullapool and then the ferry over to Stornoway, then took the trip over, the boat trip over to St Kilda and saw 200 uh, dolphins playing in the water. It was idyllic, oh. idyllic. The beaches were ice white sand, you know, it could have been the Caribbean. The, the, the local Caribbean. boatman told Apart me. Apart from the temperature, yes. presumably. Well, it was still pretty warm, actually, in September. The temperature's, you know, OK. Yeah. And sustainable tourism in Scotland, that's a, a big movement, isn't it, really? It is, yeah. It's, um, you know, it's, a, it's obviously not a new thing. It's been here, and it's underpinning a lot of the businesses here for a long time. Uh, you know, what we're seeing, and it's not just in Scotland, a lot of destinations are now galvanising it together and really promoting uh, you know, the public transport with the holidays, with the accommodations. And it's, it's combining the three, the joined upness of sustainability that we're really seeing that big change now. And this particular initiative uh, was about putting sustainable tourism out to businesses. 400 businesses were educated. Yeah, and I, what I've got to say, I've been involved in tourism for nearly 30 years now, um, and I have never seen a take up like, like this um, in small and large communities across Scotland. Um, I think it's been unique because of the way it's been delivered and it was delivered quite intentionally in partnership. This, is, this wasn't Visit Scotland preaching to industry about what they should do. This was us engaging with partners and letting them tell the story and bringing local champions that were already committed as ambassadors to tell the story to other people in the industry. And I think that's a huge uh, reason for it being so successful. And this was a series of local workshops? Yeah, we, we started way back last February. Uh, we've had over 30 um, and 300 plus businesses and 180 businesses coming up tonight um, in a fairly cold, wet, miserable night um, in the central belt of Scotland. People from all over the country and I think that's testament yeah. uh, to the whole thing. I'd absolutely agree with that. I, I go to a lot of workshops around uh, the UK and abroad and uh, you know, the, the feeling that there is this evening, 180 businesses here sitting around in the breakout sessions and everyone's got something to say, everyone's got something that they want to hear as well. People are interested in what the other people have to say and that is grassroots sustainable tourism in action. And of course Sterling exemplifies what Scottish tourism is about, isn't it? Well yeah, there are lots of initiatives here. I mean Stirling is really the gateway to, to the north of Scotland and uh, you know, you coming up here on the train, all of a sudden you can then the rest of Scotland, the Highlands, the Lowlands is in front of you. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah, yeah and, and, and large and small businesses. You've got probably the biggest business that we're standing in right now in, in Stirling Castle, bringing tens of thousands of visitors to Scotland, linking with the local community, the local B&Bs, uh, the local rural tourism businesses, and the two working together. Classic example of sustainable tourism in action.